time in more than a week, the Warrior football team donned pads and returned to Manoa's practice field. The Warriors are looking at this as the bonus part of their season. After all, this time last year, they were sitting at home following a 6-7 and seven campaign that kept them out of the Sheraton Hawaii Bowl. Now, at 10-3, and three, quarterback Brian Moniz compares this season's squad to a very elusive and resilient local house guest. Talking about our team this year and, uh, you know, kind of like, say, so yeah, the cockroaches. Indestructible. You know when you go to kill it and then you come back and the thing is gone? That was us. They didn't kill us. Because they thought they killed us last year. When they came back this year, we were gone and running away with victories. Ah, uh, well, hopefully they can run away with one more. Don't forget, for a complete look ahead to the Sheraton Hawaii Bowl on Christmas Eve, tune into the Coach Max Show special, Return to Glory. That's Monday night, 6.35 p.m. only. KGMB. Is this the official restarting of everybody's engineer? Yeah, this is our game plan Tuesday. This is finals week, so uh, there'll be guys in and out. Uh, we just have to work around that. I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. For the UH football team, it's been all running and lifting since their regular season finale versus UNLV. This morning was their first official practice for the Sheraton Hawaii Bowl. Time off was much needed for the Warriors for finals and finishing term papers. But the other night I didn't go sleep. Uh, I just stayed up for about 30 hours straight just studying. Uh, and, uh, you know, just trying to keep up with my academics. Yeah, I've been up countless hours for the past couple of days trying to finish my papers. Um, but it's my fault, too. I <laughs> should have done it on time, then I would have to do it. Uh, <laughs> procrastination. Well, it's probably my major. <laughs> What's the toughest final you had? Uh, the other day I had chemistry, uh, and it was a pretty tough uh, final, but uh, hopefully I got through it pretty well. <laughs> what do you know about chemistry? <laughs> what was your toughest final? My toughest final had to be Samoan. I'm a bilingual, bilingual at, uh, at birth, uh, pure Filipino and uh, English speaker, and Samoan is just kind of hard for me. <laughs> Did you pass it? Of course, flying colors, flying colors. I got an awesome teacher. So give us some Samoan then. Uh, Tolofa. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I know. That's all I know. I have three words. Tolofa, Tolofa, Tolofa. <laughs> now, starting tomorrow morning at 7, team gets serious preparing to take on Tulsa on Christmas. Hello, everybody. Let's talk sports. The UH football team, meanwhile, returned to the practice field today for the most part. Many on the roster not present because of final exams. Still, it was the Warriors' first taste of a formal workout in a week and a half, during which time the main focus was school. Yeah, I've been up countless hours for the past couple of days trying to finish my papers. Um, but it's my fault, too. I <laughs> should have done it on time, then I would have to do it. Uh, procrastination. Was probably my major. Uh, the other day I had chemistry, uh, and it was a pretty tough uh, final, but uh, hopefully I got through it pretty well. <laughs> my toughest final had to be Samoan. I'm a bilingual at, uh, at birth, uh, pure Filipino and uh, English speaker, and Samoan is just kind of hard for me. So give us some Samoan. <sighs> Uh, tolofa. <laughs> That's all I know. I have three words, tolofa, tolofa, tolofa. <laughs> you know, their brains are sort of fried right now. I mean, they've been going through studying. They've been up to six in the morning writing papers. This is finals week, so uh, there'll be guys in and out. Uh, we just have to work around that. And uh, But it, it's time to get down to business. Sheridan Hawaii Bowl is set for Christmas Eve. Warriors are 10-3 and in rank 24th and take on 9-3 Tulsa out of Conference USA. Kickoff that day is set for 3 p.m. at Aloha Stadium.